Jen Royal with the Boston Herald, and welcome to another edition of Talk of the Town, sponsored by Aria Trattoria, one of the north end of Boston's greatest Italian restaurants. I'm here at Fenway Park, and you all love him. I think he's your favorite, especially after uh, the way he acted last year when the Red Sox won the World Series, although I want to remind you it was his birthday, so he can get away with that one. Uh, yes, I'm talking about Mike Napoli, and uh, we're getting ready to talk to him here at Fenway Park, talk just a little bit about baseball and a little bit more about about how baseball became a part of his life and just how much he is loving his new city of Boston. Michael, it's almost the all-star break. You guys are not even playing 500 baseball. You know, there's that thing called a World Series hangover. Do you believe in that? Um, no, I don't. Um, you know, coming to spring training, everyone's still hungry. Um, you know, we got in spring training and, and worked on the things to try to get better and, uh, you know, become a team. We had new guys in the clubhouse that are we're going to be playing every day, so um, we're just trying to come together. But um, no one believes in a World Series hangover. We just got to play better baseball. All right, I'm not going to ask you a lot of baseball questions, and I know you hate talking about yourself, so please don't get mad at me. But I was talking to Johnny Gomes uh, two weeks ago, and he elaborated a little bit on your friendship and how nice it's been to have such a close friend in the clubhouse and that you guys kind of come from similar backgrounds. Talk a little bit about how much you've learned about him and what he means to you in this clubhouse. I'm um, just overall great guy. You know, um, like you said, you know, we're, we're just similar and, uh, you know, we really get along. You know, we go to lunch on the, on the road always. You know, sometimes we have a connected room, you know, so um, we just really get along. And, and uh, the things he brings to the table is, uh, is unbelievable. You know, he doesn't play every day, but um, he's always prepared. He's always pumping guys up and uh, always rooting for his teammates. So um, to have a guy like that on your team is, is huge. You know, he's a big part of, you know, what we did last year. I think it's no secret and you wouldn't deny that you're a fan favorite here in Boston. Fans want to know as much as they can about you. So growing up in Florida, just talk a little bit, little bit about how baseball you know, really became of your life uh, down in Hollywood. Yeah, I mean, you know, it all begins with my mother. You know, she uh, was working two jobs to get me to, you know, practice on time, make sure I had all the equipment. And, uh, you know, in Florida, you can play baseball all year round. So, um, you know, that's all I did is just played baseball. So, um, but you know, my mom, she's a big part of my life, and, uh, you know, she she really helped me, you know, be able to get to where I am today. Donna Rose, quite a woman. Uh, when did you realize that you had the potential, or when when did you say to yourself, you know what, Ma, like, this could work out. I think I'm going to become a pro athlete. Uh, I mean, when I got drafted, um, you know, I, I didn't go to school. You know, I, I decided to take, you know, my chances and, and uh, you know, go play ball. So, um, you know, I got into, into the... Um, minor leagues and, and developed as a player. I had a lot of you know great coaches that you know taught me a lot. And uh, you know, I just once I, I got moved up into the you know higher Double uh, A, Triple A. You know, I felt like I had a chance. All right, I mentioned Florida where you're from. Dolphins fan still? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a Florida fan. I stick with my teams, you know, th through thick and thin. You know, I'm a Hurricane fan. They're struggling. The Dolphins struggling. The only thing I have for me is, is the heat, you know. So, um, but yeah, you know, I'll always be a you know Florida fan and uh, you know root for my teams. But Mike, you've embraced the Boston teams here. You know, you've been to the Bruins. You've been to uh, some Celtics games. Is that one of the the things about Boston that makes playing here so great? Is that you can support the other teams, and it's actually exciting to be a Boston sports fan. Oh, uh, just the overall sports, you know here you know how passionate the fans are about you know their teams and uh, you know, always wanting them to win you know the stadiums are always packed and it's uh, it's just a cool atmosphere you know and uh, you know I, I like rooting for the teams that you know in my city because you know it makes everyone in, in the city happy so um, it's just a fun thing you know I like sporting events and uh, you know I like to go out there and support. I love that you just called Boston your city uh, if People don't know this, you bought an apartment here. Uh, besides probably making a smart financial move, uh, what made you want to say, you know what, Boston's going to be my home and probably my home during the off season? Yeah, I mean, uh, you no, know, I love it here. You know, just being in the city, it's uh, it's fun for me. You know, a lot of great restaurants, um, fun places to go, hang out at. So um, I just love it. You know, I don't know if I'll be able to stick out that winter. You know, I still have that house in Florida. If it gets too cold, I might have to go home. But um, I don't know. I just, I, I really love it, and it's, uh, it's a great place. Okay, last question. Forget about the shenanigans from the World Series, you with your shirt off, all that stuff. But you remind me of Sean Thornton. I don't know if you've met Sean Thornton, but I call him a, a guy, a, a player of the people. How important is it for you, Mike? I know you go to 
yeah. you go to uh, places that regular guys go to. How important is it for you to just kind of blend in and just be a, a regular dude and not, you don't show anybody up when you see fans? Is it important for you to be that way? Yeah, I mean, I like going out and interacting with, with people. I'm uh, just a people person. Um, and I like to be normal like, you know, everyone else, you know. So, I mean, when I go to those places, it's, you know, I don't mind when people come up to me and talk to me and, and do that, all that kind of stuff. So, um, it's just who I am, you know, it's my personality and, uh, you know, I enjoy it. Yeah, wait till you go into a slump. <laughs> I'll try to stay out of those.